Hi, thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to be making this cute little triangle treat tent holder. If you look from the side you can see that it has little Hershey Kisses in there. It fits four Hershey Kisses. And uh, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you're going to need is a piece of cardstock that is five and a half by four and a quarter. So basically it's the size um, of a standard card front that you're going to be doing. And then we're going to go ahead and score it. And you're going to score it at one and three eighths and then two and three quarters and then four and one eighth. So that way you've done it into quarters. I'll just fold this so you can kind of see it a little bit better here. So you can see that's going to make the formation of our little uh, tent. So what you're going to do is we're going to be going ahead and working on it. Um, there's a couple different things you can do. You can randomly stamp this piece of paper if you'd like to. Or what we're going to do today is I'm just going to take a piece of our plaid um, B&T paper from our Sweetheart collection. And this measures one and one quarter by four and one eighth. And I've already taken and stamped a little heart here on the left hand side. And this heart is um, from our Sweetheart exclusive stamp set that's only in our Workshop on the Go kit. And I inked this up in Tulip ink. So it's sort of a tone on tone ink. Um, the Tulip ink on the Tulip plaid paper. And then a I took a small one half inch by two inches of our white daisy cardstock and I just swiped the edges of it, just rubbed it along my ink pad, my black ink pad, to give it a little bit of definition. And then again from the same stamp set, the Sweetheart set, I stamped the You Your and then So Sweet on there in the black. And then I went ahead and I'm going to affix it to a piece of 5 8 inch by 2 and 1 8 uh, black cardstock. And so you're going to just have a nice little piece like this, all matted. And then I'm going to go ahead and stick that on to my plaid paper, center it on there between the heart and the right hand side of the paper. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue this on to the second panel from the bottom of our piece of cardstock here, center it on there with a small border around it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and flip the paper over and we're going to be working on this top panel here. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take some glue dots and you're going to place four of those on that top panel. Go ahead and space them evenly across your cardstock. And here's your fourth one. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to take four Hershey Kisses and then just go ahead and stick those right on top of those glue dots. So they'll hold nicely. And then you'll want to go ahead and flip that over again so that we're working on the front again. And then you can go ahead and just place a couple of glue dots or you can use your tape runner, whatever works easier for you. I like to use a couple of glue dots because they hold really well. And it's a lot easier now that I've got those Hershey Kisses on the back side. Oops. So then what you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and fold it so that those glue dots become affixed to this other panel here. Go ahead and line that up. And you'll notice that I put the seam to the back of my treat thing so that way I have a nice smooth edge on the front. Sorry, I hope you can see that. And then, just like I showed you in the sample, you can see your little Hershey Kisses in there. And then the final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take our Stardust Glitz glitter gel and I'm just going to go ahead and color in the inside of this heart just to give it a little bit of shimmer and sparkle. Got to bling it up a little bit for Valentine's Day. And the nice thing about this is that it is perfect for um, any occasion because they have so many different kind of Hershey Kisses out now. And so um, just get a bag of Hershey Kisses and you can make a bunch of these. So here again is our dried sample. You can kind of see how it has that nice glitter to it. So I hope I've inspired you a little bit. Have fun making one, and if you'd like more inspiration on other projects, you can visit me at my blog at sunnydaymemories.blogspot.com. Thanks. Have a great day.